Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go for the week of April 12th. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Okay Libra, I hope that you have a really good week. I hope that prosperity and love finds you. Blessed are all my Libras. All right, let's get into it. All right, Libra. Okay, off camera when I was shuffling for you, the Six of Cups and the Temperance card fell out. So I don't know if you feel like you're dealing with a soulmate or something is systemic or you feel like somebody is in your system. You can't get them out. Maybe you feel like you want to reconcile with them. You want to compromise or salvage a relationship. Let's see. Or someone feels this way with you. Um, I heard if they could just talk to you. Okay, so let's see what's coming toward you. The moon card, Libra. Alright, so lots of fears and anxiety. Maybe you could even be lying to yourself about this person or your position in regard to this person. Or vice versa, they're doing this. Um, repress, repress thoughts, emotions. It's like you're just trying to forget about it or to push it down. Uh, way down in your subconscious because you don't want to feel this you don't want to think about it some of you don't want to feel the fact that you and your person are just so different and you you're questioning how is this going to work how is this going to work there's a lot of fears um anxiety surrounding the connection um surrounding what you will do how this will work out let's get some advice for you here libra some of you feel like you're so different. You and your person are really different that it makes you uncomfortable or you make them uncomfortable or both of you guys are uncomfortable at times. Uh, but you both want the same outcome here. But you just go about life so differently or you have gone about life so differently. Uh, also, there's a lot of unknown or you just, just, you just don't know. Right now, there's a lot of walking in the dark for you. You don't know what's coming next. Okay, um, advice, advice for Libra. What's the advice for Libra? Let's see. Advice for Libra. Okay. Pretty good with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Cancer and Pisces highlighted. All right. Wow, the Temperance card. This came out off camera for you. So, yeah, it's like you... So there's been some drama, there's been some bad blood, some discord, some fights, some backbiting, some just all out aggression here. Someone is saying, how can we salvage it? Or can we salvage it? Can we come back together? We need to compromise. Or someone could be saying, I will make the compromise, whatever that is. Um, someone feels like you guys can pick up the pieces. Um, someone feels like it's a wealthy connection to come back together. Now we know that wealth is coupled with, of course, monetary uh, stability, but it's also coupled with health and emotional stability, maybe even spiritual. Some somebody feels like they, you know. I think this is Archangel Michael. Um, feels like this is divine. It's destined. They want to come back to you, or you should come back to them, or it should just be. Um, Mutual. Someone wants to balance out the connection. You could be dealing with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, yeah, someone's saying, look, we just need to find a way to make it work. You balance me out. You are the better half of me. You are the yin to my yang. Um, the advice here is maybe compromise. Uh, see what you can salvage. Find balance, maybe even in yourself or in this turbulent time for you. You may be going through a lot, Libra. Uh, so just find balance. Try to find some harmony where you can. Uh, find some peace. All right, what's the outcome for Libra? What's the outcome for Libra? Wow, nice. The Nine of Pentacles. Everybody's been getting good readings. Um... Yeah, and then the Six of Cups. It fell out off camera for you at the bottom of the deck. All right, so Nine of Pentacles. Looks like you 
you might choose to go this alone with the nine of pentacles or you're going to choose to keep personal relationships outside of your home or you're keeping people at arm's length at bay um you're not really going to let any intimate relationship transpire or happen something is going on with you within your actual physical home or this is um just your home in terms of your comfort your comfort level um and where you feel like you what you feel like you could show to another person so it's like um somebody's dating or you will be dating or you will date this person or you will come back together with a specific person or maybe a new person whomever it may be there's not there is not going to be an intimacy here like you're not going to have intimate conversations about what are your plans for the next 10 years what is your credit score how do you pay bills um are you responsible are you fiscally responsible um what's your emotional state have you ever gone to there you're not you're not having those conversations you're in whatever you're in to get whatever it is you want from it and then you're withdrawing okay um you see you want to live a singular life right now and it might be that you have all you need to do that and you don't feel like you need to couple right now or you're just not at a place where you feel comfortable vulnerable enough to couple with anyone um even if you go back to someone from the past or you at least give them an opportunity to uh you know for you to hear them out or what or whatnot um it's not going to be super intimate like you're not going to jump back into the relationship like it used to be uh, this just might be a healing type of connection maybe there will be some sharing like someone will share exactly how they feel about you i don't know if it will be mutual um someone will some of you stand with somebody for a child but you still are ex you might be co cohabitating or you have your own home somewhere or you have something that is just yours and you want it like that some of you are longing to be somewhere again or some other place maybe with your child longing to move because you feel like something is going to fall apart all of a sudden because someone is you know is rigid they're not going to bend to your will are you staying with someone because of a child or you you know you're trying to be happy because of the child or you fulfilling obligations here Libra You feel like somebody has everything that you want or vice versa this is how they feel about you but there's still a halt or a, or obstacles in the relationship in terms of coming together and actually making this happen um something could have transpired also you could be questioning your motivation in terms of why you want to be with this person or why they want to come back to you or vice versa or mutual self-care yep that's exactly what you will be uh taking part in self-care because um you just feel as if uh that's where you need to be right now caring for yourself maybe you've given so much in a connection to where you've lost yourself you also are caring for a young child something is becoming burdensome it looks like it all may hit the fan here um yeah so something is becoming a little burden burdensome and something may you i don't know if you had to move back in with a family a family moved back in with you um you're being a nurturer you might even tell somebody this that the relationship is toxic you've been waiting for it to change they're trying to keep you stuck in it you're not sure if you want to stay in this okay libra if you feel like the reading resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text your question to the number below pay for your question you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link if you're feeling moved to do so thank you libra take care many blessings